everybody, this is Fuyu Toki here, and welcome to one of my first playthroughs, and this game is Oxenfree. Oxenfree is an indie game um, developed by the Night Schoolers. I'm a huge fan of Oxenfree, I played it previously before, and I decided why not make a playthrough of it. So let's just jump into the game. I want to start over so you guys can actually see everything and not get any spoilers because when you start it the second time it's a bit different but we'll get into that when we get to it so let's start over um preserve timeline uh let's just restart it i don't mind it's a really great game and you guys definitely will see <laughs> All right, let's start. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man! Those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my, my mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Aw, that's downright adorable. So and you guys the... just met tonight? Oh, no. Yeah, I, I was, talking. um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. Okay. So, how um, do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, uh, grade school era. Young enough play, that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual talking, so at I'm, all. I mean, we I'll both looked like little skinned potato blobs. Yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, what's up with that? Um, Does no one normally go guys, there at night? Nobody really lives like there, so no. From Steven Universe, and Karen's not going to mind that we're spending the night. And, where the nose and it's Jonas? Is, uh, not Jonah? Cap? Yeah, Jonas. It's like weird. Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. As you guys can see, there, you can great. I'll magic erase all the, the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, oh, you brought gosh, the radio, Red, right? Talk too the much. little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so. 
Tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay, well, um, what I was trying to say before was that, as you guys could see, you can interact with the characters, and basically, depending on your responses, will be um, how they react to you throughout the game, and... It, it gets quite interesting because you can build relationships or decide that you want to be a jerk and just not be, uh, I guess, nice? Or uh, it's, it's, I am not explaining this as best as I, as, as best that as clean I air, should. Boys and girls. But you guys Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, Should uh, we smoke? no thanks. I mean, I literally just nice said the clean day. air thing, so... Alex, you can bum just. one off me if you're empty. You I forget what? if you're a fellow addict. Yeah, sure. Let's sure. give it a shot. Really? He's Since when do you guy. smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were going to vomit on my shoes. Being polite. Yeah, right. You should try it sometime. I'm being nice. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. Thank you, I will have a smoke. And well, there was no oh. Okay. You all right? <coughs> Smooth. They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in <clears throat> flavor country over here. Real smooth. Alright. My other friends should be up and around the bend. Actually, that I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, hmm. you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but... <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. Fast. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead say. and we'll catch up with you. I'm curious. Um, okay. I guess. Even though, I though this is a really strange way to start off splitting know. up. Let's It'll be fast. This is my first Thanks, man. Playing. I'll just be up the hill in case. Whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's. <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything and I guess it's just for me I, I, I've never moved anywhere and like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels and not that it's been bad or anything you and your mom have been great uh, we'll make do lemons lemonade however that goes an optimist oh Christ What's wrong with optimism oh stop it oh and thanks for setting up the attic for me it's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Okay, so... Oh. Let's... I heard about your mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know... What are you gonna do? We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Okay, so... As you can see right there, Ren wasn't too happy about me choosing Jonas over him. And there are going to be a couple of moments where you have to pick one character over the other and they're clearly not going to like it. Uh, when I played th through this 
uh, twice. Usually the second playthrough you get a better idea of what's going on and the continuity and how it all connects to each other is really, really freaking interesting. But I'm gonna try and pick different choices I've never picked Parks before. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. And You'd then we'll see like what her. happens She's from there. Tall. Um, alright. I've only really picked one straight and narrow path because there's a certain character I don't like, but I'm gonna try and be nice to that character. And again, make different choices and see if Hello, that kids. makes things worse or not. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. Oh it's my. the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down. And we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. Spooky. You'll hear voices or just sounds. It's, uh, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. That's I did it creepy. once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just yeah, there. All not. the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Yeah. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives. It's the dream. Jonas, did I've you know that a little birdie wives. told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state up. to college? Sounds oh, amazing. really? Yeah. So and did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Oh my god. Uh, <sighs> Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. Huh. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Ren is very, very concerned. Thanks so much Whoops. for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh. I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this will be fun. Don't worry. I Even totally if Alex forgot. is a listless drifter ruining her own life. Ah, uh, dude. Hey, I make my own choices. I I'm an adult here. Okay, I can do the what I want. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm Freaking blanking around. on what it was. But it's not. I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh. Perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. I think the dumpster think will get us over okay. if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Well, as you guys can see, Ren is very... He's hes hes a, that best friend that doesn't want you to go anywhere and it kind of wants you to stay put. Make great choices, I guess, best to their judgment. Because they feel that they know what's best for you. At least that's the vibe I get from Ren. But he, he has good in intentions. For the most part. Well... Let's go meet the others. This should be fun. Hopefully Jonas doesn't feel too left out. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. 
She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, uh -huh. you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? I mean, uh, it was nothing. Just leave you know, it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. Exactly. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. But it's dude, not a big deal, a really. Just I, forget you don't have about to deal it. With, dude. He's new. Reginald, I hear you huh? over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying. I was about to tell a story. What was uh, it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Mm 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 mm. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, that's Yeah, happens. I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? My mom uh... married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... That's fair, dude. <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's Jonas. it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? Uh, I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> well, sorry. I accept your apology. Uh, Thanks. You see, Jonas, normally uh, this is like really a 20 deep like rager, her. but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to uh. be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Enthusiasm. OK. So yeah, as you guys can see, uh, you can already guess this redhead here is a character I really don't like. She has a very, very serious attitude problem. Why? We'll find out sooner or later, but until then, this has been part one of my Oxenfree playthrough, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!